Shambhuna, Shamno Bhavet Vrayama, Shamno Indro Brahaspati, Shamno Vishnu Rukrama, Namo Brahmi, Namaste Vayu, Twamiva Pratyaksham Brahmasi, Twamiva Pratyaksham Brahmarisyami, Ritam Varisyami, Satyam Varisyami, Tamam Abhatu, Tatvaktaram Abhatu, Abhatu Mam, Abhatu Vaktaram. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Our friends, Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to our dressing room in uh, Toronto. We are just beginning our U.S. and Canadian tour. We hope you can join us. You know, we're just checking in with you uh, after last week, and uh, we just want to touch base on your practice and how it's going. Some friends of uh, some of you have asked us uh, about the certain positions you should sit or whether you should stand. Uh, how much you should use your voices. So we have a few little tips for you. David's going to talk to you about that. <laughs> yeah, when we were boss. just uh, chanting together, Mithen and I, I was thinking to tell you that it's so powerful to chant together with a friend, with one friend or with many friends, because it really brings you in tune with the other person. It's actually the only time when we breathe in the same rhythm, because usually we don't speak at the same time. So it's very powerful, you know, like if you have a group of friends or you want to bring unity or harmony into a meeting or you want to just feel good, you know, have like one ohm or three ohms at the beginning where you take the deep breath together and you have your out breath at all at the same time. And if you can do those mantra meditations every day with a friend or two, that's very powerful. Mm -hmm. And that's what we feel so blessed with, that we have these concerts now on this tour again, that we can sing and chant with so many people. So if you have any chance to, to come and see us, don't miss it. It's such a huge gift. It's, it's so precious and it doesn't happen so much. You know, one of the things that <laughs> we always recommend is that when you do the mantras, you need to be comfortable, but it's always good to sit with your back straight so your spine is straight. That's, that's the only criterion, I would mm. say, personally. Mm. You know, because then you have a feeling of intention. And then also, you know, it's a very esoteric practice we're moving into, as well as it being scientific. And the energy can move up the spine. You know, that's the whole Kundalini movement of the energy of the serpent moving up the spine. So, back straight, mm. spine straight. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, <coughs> about the volume of voice or the pace of repetition, you know, like also when you do it alone, you can find your own pace and you can find it in any way, you can find the, your own comfort of volume of voice. And it's always good to experiment. Do I feel better when I do it in a low voice? Do I feel more energized when I sing it loud or chant loud? Personally, <coughs> when I use my voice, I like that feeling of all the cells being charged with energy. It feels like oxygen in all the cells, and that's such a good feeling. And I get that more when I when I chant or sing out loud. So it's really again just you know being like a child experimenting what feels good, and then following that, it's that simple. Yeah. Give yourself permission to mm. feel good. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's it's all. It, I find the most important with spiritual practice is that we enjoy the process of it. Yeah. If we do it to get somewhere, then we might as well not even start because that's, that's you know, the, you know that saying, no goal but the path. It's about really being in the moment. And if we enjoy the moment, then we're in the moment. So uh, whatever we need to enjoy the moment, be comfortable, be, you know, in a very relaxed space and, and everything just unfolds naturally. So thank you so much for joining us, and uh, keep going. Yes, stay, stay with yourself. Stay enjoying. Share your love and your compassion and your practice with your friends and your family. Okay.
Okay, namaste. Thank you. Into the heart.